Thank you, Mr. Chairman, and I truly appreciate uh, you scheduling this very important hearing this morning. This is important to Alaska, but I think it, it from, a, from a larger perspective, it's important because uh, I think it, it uh, speaks to the commitment that uh, the federal government should have when it comes into a state and, uh, and operates and then leaves. Uh, I think we all assume that there is a responsibility to be a, quote, responsible operator. And uh, in, in this instance, I think we have seen um, some, some failures here. So the opportunity to, to speak to that and to what the potential solutions are, uh, I think, is important. I'd like to take a moment and thank our witnesses that are here today. Uh, we have the BLM uh, Alaska director, Mr. Bud Cripley. We have uh, from the state legislature our representative, uh, Sharice Mollette, uh, from the Anchorage area. We also have the Alaska Oil and Gas Commissioner Chair, Kathy Forrester, all who have traveled here today to testify before the committee. Uh, I thank you for, for making the long trek. Uh, the good news for you is it's not as hot now as it was last week, so you'll be able to survive this brief uh, visit back here. I also want to take a moment to recognize North Slope Borough Mayor Char Charlotte Brower. The mayor couldn't be with us here today. She's from Barrow, Alaska. But this is, of course, a very important issue to Mayor Brower and the folks in the North Slope Borough. The mayor had asked that I read a very brief statement into the record on her behalf. She states as follows. As a cooperating agency with BLM, the North Slope Borough must be a part of the process to prioritize and address the impacts of oil and gas exploration. Just a few months ago, I was in Washington, D.C. and met with then-director Abby and raised our issues of concern with this process of cleaning up the legacy wells left behind after the Navy and USGS exploration process. He stated that BLM is committed to capping these wells, but it is, quote, it is an, quote, unfin unfunded mandate, close quote. The federal government wishes to act as steward of the land in Alaska, often telling Alaskans and residents what they can or cannot do on the land, yet here is an example of the same government failing to fulfill the most basic of responsibilities as the landowner. Residents want to develop the resources, but they also want to do so responsibly. The residents of the NPRA and the North Slope Borough that rely on the planning area for subsistence must be assured that they are not exposed to harmful levels of oil development associated contaminants and that they will be protected against a range of contaminant associated disorders. Reassurance to our communities of continued safety of subsistence resources will foster the continued viability of the subsistence diet and way of life. It will also reinforce our common goal of environmentally responsible development of the oil and gas resources in the area. This we can do by working together. And that's the comment from Mayor Brower. Uh, Mr. Cribley, I, I really do appreciate you taking the time to, to come here today. Um, but I also recognize that you get it. You understand the situation and the problem in, in Alaska. It probably would have been more and more cost effective for us if we had had some of the, uh, of the, the folks from the BLM office uh, here in DC testifying on this issue. I know from, from numerous meetings on this topic that you recognize the problem. I would be surprised if you told me that you have not personally pushed for increased funding from your superiors to remediate these leaking wells. So I, I think the message needs to, to, to be relayed very clearly that we want to hear directly from those here in Washington in terms of, of what they anticipate the, the schedule will be. I want to emphasize to my colleagues how dire the situation in the National Petroleum Reserve Alaska really is. and 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 and. I think shed a little bit of light on the hypocrisy that is on display here in the federal government. As the chairman has noted, there were 136 wells that were, were drilled in NPRA over uh, a period of many decades. Only 16 of those 136 wells have been properly plugged. Seven were taken care of by the North Slope Borough, not by BLM. The remaining 120 wells are in various conditions of noncompliance with state law. There's three missing wells, uh, one of which is under a landslide at the edge of the Colville. The two others are at bottoms of lakes where remediation is going to be tough to get to. I think we recognize that this is a costly process. It doesn't come cheap. But uh, uh, again, when you think about the standards that others are held to and held accountable for, 
it's only right, it's only appropriate that the federal government be held to those same standards. This is the same federal government and Department of Interior who has held private industry to the highest of standards with regard to environmental protection, as they should. But Alaskans want responsible development uh, and exploration, uh, but not at, at risk of the environment. I commend the private industry as they have worked with the, with the federal government to meet the high standards. But the question really has to be asked, why then should the government, should the federal government not have to live up to those same standards? When you couple this failure in the NPRA with other broken promises by the federal government to Alaskans, I think it really really pushes, it strains the relationship that Alaskans have with our own government. And I must say, I'm, I'm having a bit of a difficult time reconciling the fact that DOI is unable, they say they are unable, to fund well remediation efforts within NPRA, even though funding for the Land and Water Conservation Fund continues to increase. Not only does each land management agency have staggering maintenance backlogs, but Interior as a whole, I think, has more pressing needs uh, than purchasing additional land. Alaskans are united on this issue. I, I commend you, Representative Millett, for taking the lead on this and pushing it. I know that other members of this committee share my concern for cleaning up the ongoing environmental pollution within the NPRA. Again, I, I thank you all for being here, and I thank the chairman for, for his uh, commitment to work with us on this issue.